Hi everybody, this is a nook playing with my big rabbit, Daisy. She's out in the garden now running around. She's enjoyed it now, we're back on holiday because she can run around the garden quite freely. And these are some wind chimes that I got while we were away on holiday. So hoping that when the studio doors open it will sound really really cool they're quite deep and this is a new addition this is my raster mushroom looking all peaceful under the box tree and while we were out and about clearing the space for the mushroom we came across this piece of wood. Well, I came across this piece of wood in the wood pile. And I thought, what could I do with that? And you guessed it. I decided to do an eye. I could hear my dog bark crying there. Doesn't like it when I do narrations. <laughs> He's jumping from chair to chair. Anyway, I just picked this piece of wood up from out of the wood pile and all I'm doing over the top of it is gessoing and in between the layers I use a heat gun which you use for decorating to dry because the wood is still a little bit damp but hey always keep your eyes peeled to the ground folks because you never know what you might find uh, like the other video which I will link at the end of this um, Mr. Bumble Skull come on and look it's on the say come on. sorry about that just talking to my dog she always asks to come and sit next to me so she just wandered in after leaving the, the rabbit and now they're both sat on the say beside me she's watching bit of a diva dog <laughs> anyway yeah, always keep your eyes peeled because you never, never know what you might find. And sometimes it's good just to have a play around. Um, I hope you're all enjoying the um, series of racehorses, the abstracts that I'm doing. I'm quite enjoying doing them too as well. And please, please, um, while you're watching this, um, please do like, thumbs up subscribe I am nearly at the 200 mark I'd love to be um, at 200 subbies it's taken a while but we are getting there slowly now I'm only using ordinary household paint and a little one or oh, two acrylic paints uh, just because it's um, just a piece of fun really and I couldn't believe that the actual eyeball was completely round how cool is that now you can see that I'm painting around the edge I'm not going to waste paint in the center because obviously that's where the pupil is going to be and those of you that live in England I do hope you've had a fantastic um, bank holiday I have just come back from Cornwall if you've seen the video before this I gave you a tour of the cottage that we stayed in which was really really nice the weather wasn't exactly fantastic but towards the end of the holiday it did pick up we were in Cornwall not far from Penzance and just above Mousel or Mousehole so it was lovely to get away and um, sometimes you just need that little bit relaxation and if anybody does come to court, go to Cornwall um, do go down and there's a, a cafe called Pilchard Press and they do the best cream teas I must admit they were really really lovely and reasonably priced also do go in visit the Sandpiper Gallery there as well they are really really friendly 
excuse me. Um, yeah, they are really, really friendly there. There's lots of things to see and do there. And some lovely rock pools as well. We enjoyed looking at all the sea anemones and fishes and crabs that were in the rock pools that we saw. Very, very lucky. Um, there was a storm the first day we arrived. Um, all of England was under yellow alert for the storm, but uh, that's um, blown over now and thankfully nobody, as far as I know, nobody was hurt, which was really, really good. Oh, and I did find an interesting book when I was away. It's called When the Ocean Meets the Sky. And um, I haven't read it yet, but the illustrations of it, on it are really, really good. And it's two brothers. I can't remember their names. But do go and check that book out. Go and check the illustrations out in that book. It's really, really good. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. And I've just finished reading another book as well, The Haunting of Hill House. Interesting book. Um, really more in-depth about the characters rather than the house. If you've seen the horror film, then um, yeah, the horror film is absolutely fantastic. But as a piece of writing about the psychology of people back in the 60s, yes, really, really good. And apparently the series... Um, is on Netflix at the moment. So yeah, that um, was quite interesting to finish that book. I don't know what I'm going to read next, so if anybody's got any ideas, please do put them in the comments below. I do love reading. Oh, and I thought I'd give myself another challenge as well. Is I thought because I'm not very good at faces, when I've got five minutes, I will start to do faces, draw more faces. It's not my strongest point. And sometimes when it's not your strongest point, like they say in Buddhism, do the thing you don't like and then you'll become better at it until it becomes something that you do like. Which means I have to go and do the washing up in a minute. That's something I don't like doing. But then who does? So anyway, as you can see, I am mixing the colours together. Always before I put this green on, I'm pushing the colours upwards. And I haven't got a reference, so I'm doing it all from memory at the moment. Just trying to think, wow. Well, does any of us know what a dragon's eye looks like? Because, well, they only exist in the land or realms of imagination, do they? That's the interesting thing. Do they? Yeah, my dog's licking me now. <laughs> she wants to know who I'm talking to. I think she thinks it's quite strange that I'm just chatting away in midair. They're quite funny animals, aren't they? Oh, we've um, got a newt in the pond. Yeah, a great quested newt. Um, when we came back off holiday, the pump in the fish pond had decided that it wasn't going to work very well. My daughter had done her best to fix it. And um, so we had to clean out the pump. And while we were cleaning out some of the duckweed out of the pond, we found a newt which is really, really great news because um, if you can get your pond to support wildlife, you know, it's, it's really good. It, you know, it helps endanger species. Only trouble is the newts in our pond eat the tadpoles, which is a bit sad, but hey. Oi. We do have also in our garden loads and loads of toads. Yeah, when it get like not this time of year, they do come out, but in the summertime when it's damp, they crawl out the small wall that we've got, and uh, they walk. They don't hop. They walk. They're really comical to watch. Now I'm just doing the edge of the eye with black and drawing it up the um, eyeball itself. That's acrylic paint I'm using now. You can probably see the tube there. 
didn't take very long to paint at all. It took a bit longer in between the drying, but as you were seeing this in real time. And here are the wood pigeons. I don't know if that will pick up, whether you'll be able to hear it, but there is the wood pigeons outside. We've got quite a few birds nesting in our garden at the moment and quite a small um, number, well quite small birds, quite a few of the blue tit family and in the front of our house Eddie my husband has put up some nesting boxes and I was washing up the other morning and I've seen that a pair of blue tits are actually um, nesting in one of the boxes. First time ever. Brilliant. Chuffed to bits about that. And when we were on holiday, we were drawing the curtains of the upstairs bedroom and we saw two really big bats flying around the lamp post, which was they're a lot it was a lot bigger than the, the bat that we have here. We have bats here, but they're very small little bats. I don't know what they're called. Not very good with names of bats. Well, I only know, like, Dracula. It's quite a lot, really. But yeah, at the moment, the garden is really lovely. It's got loads and loads of leaves come back. And like I say, the birds are everywhere. And the fish, we're hoping the fish will have more babies. The fish have got some ba last year babies. They've got quite big. But we're hoping now the pump's fixed that the pond will clear so that we can exactly see what we've got. Uh, just putting some detail into the eye. Eyes are amazing things. There is this um, photographer, can't remember, but when I was teaching in, oh, quite a few years ago, um, one of the children was looking at eyes and we discovered a photographer that takes photographs of different um, eyes, humans and animals. Well that's the only eyes you get really isn't it? Go, come on B, get a grip. <laughs> well obviously wood's got eyes, that's why I'm painting it. But anyway, it was really really interesting because looking at the, looking at the different the eyes, like there were some fish eyes that we looked at and they looked like looking into the Amazon um, basin, you know, with the Amazon ri river running through it. Really interesting. And now I'm just putting on in the pupil of the eye as well. And now eyes, eyes. If you ever get to look at some photographs of eyes, please do because they are really, really amazing. You know, some some of the detail and the colours as well all the individual colours and markings and, and you know like some people have like green eyes with just like little bits of brown in or brown eyes with bits of green in and you know it's, it's and the muscle the iris when it retracts to let more out, air uh, light in it's like wow you know they are amazing things now I'm just putting on some Uh, high gloss varnish. wasn't really happy with the gloss with the varnish. It would have been better if it would have been more glossy, had a more glossy effect. But you know, you have to use what's in your studio, don't you? You, you know, I wasn't I didn't set out to do this. This was just a discovery. I'm actually being pushed off my chair by my dog at the moment. And we do have some more sculptures down in the wood in my house well by my house so I will take my camera along and film them I have got a picture in mind that I want to do so I will go down there film them and include them in the next video um, Eddie took the dogs out the other day and um, took some photographs of them and uh, they look really really cool so I will go down there and show you what they're like I'm just putting a highlight in there. If I'd have got a more glassy effect, I don't think I'd have put the highlight in there, but I, I didn't, so I wanted that to do it itself, but it didn't do it. So I'm just going to put some white around the edge.
more for me than anything else. I quite like doing that. It's quite funny how our eyes, you know, just a piece of wood, give it an eye and then suddenly it comes to life. It's stunning really when you think about it. That the the eyes really are the windows of the souls. I'm getting a bit distracted at the moment because Eddie's not eating all his Easter eggs and there's we've got one on the side and it's just well it's there, I've just noticed and I'm I wonder if you can share it later. I'll let you know if you'll let us share it later. <laughs> oh, and the other thing I managed to get is one of those free tier rolling trolleys. Not the ones that you get from Ikea, um, but in hobby crafting in Swindon. They've got them at half price. They were £50 and they were down to 25 So I've joined the many other YouTubers that happen to own one of these fantastic carts. I've got mine in like really really bright pink. They did have a black one there but I like the black I like the pink one so I bought the pink one. And I did look at some canvases that they've got on sale at the moment as well. So anybody that's got a hobby craft near them do pop down Unfortunately, in England, we don't get what you get in America. We don't get coupons. We do get sales where things are like half price or a third off. But we don't have coupons where we can cut them out and take them to the store. A bit behind the times when it comes to that, living in, living in England. But hey, I suppose it's a good thing in a way because we do get to save our money a bit more by not having the coupons and there he is he's back there I've just dried him again and I've just sprayed him now with some gloss so I'm just bringing him up so you can just see that by spraying him with gloss varnish it makes the bark look quite shiny as well that's him close up now I thought I'll take him out into our woodland garden and place them around and see how he looks. So I'll be back in a second. And I put him on the stones outside my studio just to see what he would look like. And then I found this piece of wood that we've got in the woodland garden and I've popped him on there. And this is where it all started to come together put him on a different way round. Yeah, it's an eye. <laughs> and I put him in some trees just to see what he'd look like. And back to the piece of wood again. And so I asked um, Eddie if he'd help me move the piece of wood and I like, put it down in front of the studio and then I added more and built it up and now we have Puff outside the studio. I put some cones inside his nose so it looks like he's just relaxing outside my studio. They do smell lovely as well, it was white sage so I um, cleansed him at the same time. So I'm hoping that he may last until open studios. I think it'd be quite cool for people to come and see him. But he's, we've got a very, very old box hedge and that's where he is at the moment. And it's been really fun gathering all the little bits of wood from our woodland to... Uh, and I, you can see that the branches of the box tree looks like he's got more um, horns coming out of his head. And I just, I'm just sat on the step of my studio, just filming him. It's not part of the garden that we ever see. Oh, and there's Mr. Mushroom chilling out beside him. So it gives you kind of some kind of perspective of how big the dragon really is, and the smoke coming out of his nostrils relaxing before he flies away. Puff the Magic Dragon for Puffer Smoke Studios. 
can't say better than that, can we? So please, if you do like this video, please recommend me to other people. I would love to get to 2,000 subs 200 subscribers. That would be really, really ace. And if I do, I might think about doing a giveaway. Um, yeah. So I'll just let you enjoy Puff. Thank you.